The perfect flight of a football, a stadium full to capacity on match day, or how the weight of a Hurley's boss affects the impact on a slitter. These are all things that most people in this GAA mad country might take for granted, but they are actually all solutions to engineering questions. Well, the Engineered the Game of the Future programme asks primary school pupils to do just that, envisage what GAA should be like by 2050. There is a lot of things that could be improved. Like, we're starting to improve stuff now, but it, it could be better. We had a lead player come in. Uh, she actually teaches in our school, Aoife Russell. And, and we also had um, Tom Parsons come in, who is a... Uh, he used to be a GAA player, but now he's a civil engineer, and that fits perfectly into what we were doing. Brad. Up the blankets! Up the blankets! Loud might be the smallest county in Ireland, but they punch above their weight on the GAA field, and pupils in the wee county have some very big ideas. So this vibe say is going to help with injuries. So if you get this red wire here and just place it down on the battery, the motor will start vibrating and it will simulate the hamstring because that's the most common injury. Engineering has always been important in GAA, from Hawkeye in Crow Park to boots to deliver the perfect kick. In this day and age though, engineering around sustainability is really important and these guys are on the ball. So we're just trying to make the future better. Like in 2050, we want the future to be green. And our suit is supposed to help that and it runs off solar panels. I like the GAA because uh, loads of people can play it from different communities and get to know each other. Engineering is at the forefront of advances to sport and whether that be safety for athletes, sports analytics technology or environmental developments, these guys are playing a blinder.